Look at this tier list. We're already pretty much halfway through. No doubt this next segment will be an absolute blast. We have the upgraded variants of the cars up next. And I'm not gonna lie, these designs are sexy as hell. You can say that again. Some of these designs are absolute eyegasms, to tell the truth. Just for the designs alone, I can't see us putting any of these below C tier. These lean, mean, body-kitted machines are the very source of all happiness on Earth. Although, a little heads up, I can think of one of these cars that I would put lower than C tier. Wild. Well, I'm excited to see what it is. But I'm even more excited to getting to ranking the rest of these cars. And the Fira starts us off once again. Ooh, my stars! This one is a beauty. Ah, oh, the absolute jolt of happiness I got from seeing it for the first time. Beautiful new revamped look with a smooth body design and amazing new body kit. Oh, and the spoiler at the back absolutely slays, by the way. Also, king free, baby! It's really easy to control while steering and drifting. And it moves so fast as well. Honestly, so satisfying to use. Given all of this and the circumstances of getting it in a surprise kind of way, it totally deserves S tier. I totally agree. Same here. What a gem. No debate about it whatsoever. Now we got the wisdom up next. A hundred percent the most baddest design in the whole game. Just look at it. Sick new front design, bulked up hood, and a big spoiler at the back. Such a pleasure to look at along with the beautiful blasting sound that comes out of the engine. Wait a minute. I could have sworn you said that thing gave you a headache every time you heard it. Were you lying? No, I said that about the original Wisdom. This one just has a different frequency to it. One that's calm, relaxing, radiant, and soothing. Um, what? Just smile it off, Light Hoof. No need to make a fuss right now. Dang, I was really hoping that you were gonna call me a cool nickname this Oh, give it time, it'll come to me eventually. Back to the wisdom. This redesign is truly a work of art. I splashed the cash on this one straight away. And while it wasn't quite as satisfying as the Fiera, it still packed quite a punch. An overall very solid car that deserves a lot of respect. Yeah, no complaints about this one. Totally deserves A tier. All right, dudettes. What are we saying about the property? As if the original already wasn't good enough, they really outdid themselves with this one. I never did use this one, but I'll admit, I do really like its design. Oh, trust me, your life will never be the same after using it. This car brought me through all of Category 1. Any race that was unwinnable with other cars was winnable with this beast. Great speed. Cracking acceleration, perfect drifting and handling, and of course, a stunning engine sound. An absolute powerhouse in the Ridge Racer world. This cop will forever hold a special place in my heart. And rightfully so. This car takes the cake for being the best mild car by a long shot. In all aspects, too. Not a moment went by where I didn't enjoy using it. Beautiful, beautiful, and beautiful. That's all I have to say. Truly an underrated legend. And another addition to the S tier. Look who's back. It's the Wild Gang. Hell yeah. Now this is what I call a glow up. Spot on, Marble. This car really glue the fuck up. I bought it during my playthrough just for how good it looks. Definitely one of the best looking cars in the game. Bar the design, the best part of this car is definitely its slipstreaming. You can build up over 10 kilometers an hour of speed. Uh, just by slipstreaming alone. And it really makes up for it being the slowest in its category. While it still drifts awkwardly and takes forever to build up nitrous, I have to say that it is still quite charming to use. It definitely exceeded my expectations of it. Very underrated indeed. I would put it in A tier, but I feel as though its flaws really hold it back when it comes to special events and time trials. Also, the fact that it costs money. B tier is still a really good upgrade from last time, though. Fair enough. I agree with that, too. Wait a minute. Something's not right here, guys. Really? I thought I was the only one who felt like that. Something is really off. We've been agreeing with each 
each other way too much. Isn't that a good thing, though? It means less loudness and chaos. I'm really enjoying how this episode is going so far, and I would really love for it to stay that way, if that's okay with you guys. That's completely fine, Marble, especially considering the pandemonium that went down last episode. Well, I guess we just keep going then. Up next is the upgraded version of our first S tier, the Lucky and Lizer. Oh my what God, Lizer! Huh? What did I just Lies say? Oof, you can be called Lizer. Could you calm down there? What is even going on? You okay there, little Irish friend? Uh, that's the perfect nickname for you, Tilda. Man, I'm such a genius. What? Ah, uh, Tilda. <laughs> Um, what the hell just happened? I have no idea. Did she just fucking die or something? Uh, I don't know. I'm totally puzzled right now. But at least I got a nickname now. Lizer does have a cool ring to it. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, uh, I must have broken a few brain cells there. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Could you by any chance explain to us what the hell that was all about? I guess I still have trouble controlling myself when I get excited. Yeah, no kidding. You gotta lay off the 420, Jazz. First of all, 420's your thing, Trazzle Dazzle. Second of all, I'm really sorry about that marble, especially since you just asked that this episode stayed quiet. I'll try harder to contain myself from now on. You know what? It's all good, Jade. In all honesty, it was actually really funny. Let's just leave this behind us and continue on. Sounds good to me. Let's try this again. And now we're on to the upgraded version of our first S tier, the Lucky and Wild Eruption. This car's pretty decent. Not the flashiest, oh. but it's still- Me! My eyes! It burns! What? You too! Oh, the irony is just amazing. Damn, what's wrong, Marble? Don't like the upgraded eruption or something? Let me rephrase that for you! Introducing the downgraded version of the eruption! Oh, I mean, just look at it! Look at how they've massacred my boy! It's like a f fucking Botox injection gone wrong. Just stuck an ugly ass giant bumper on it and called it a day. Aw, oh, Jesus. Marble, you really hate this thing, don't you? I think you need to calm down a bit. I mean, the design is and not... And don't get me started on that little smile they put on it. What is that for? You have nothing to smile about, you worthless pile of filth. You serve zero purpose. You should kill, kill yourself, yourself now. Piece of that Ooh. So, here's what we're gonna do. We put the eruption in F tier. And we never speak of this event again. Agreed. We really should have done that meditation session. I don't know about you guys, but that definitely caused an eruption. <laughs> wow, I'm funny. Goofy ass numbskull. Now let's move on to the star nose. This one had a good glow up too. Performance still nothing special. But the design is way better than its original. I also like that devious looking smile that they gave it too. Overall, I think C tier is fair for this one. I would have liked to put it in B tier, but I guess C is fair too. And Sky's back. The carnage just never ends, does it? Hey there, guys. No, there won't be any more carnage. I just wanted to apologize for my behavior from the other day. I didn't mean to burst out like that. I've been thinking about it ever since, and I just kept feeling bad for how I treated you guys. You can have your own opinions on things, and I promise that I won't go crazy over them again. Aw, oh, that's like real nice of you, Sky. Yeah, we forgive you. Don't worry about it. We're all friends here, and we will always be. Sometimes we can get carried away, as we've definitely learned today. But what matters is how we recover from those moments. Wow, thanks. You guys are the best. So which car are you guys ranking next? The last one for the day, the Danver High Knight. Oh my gosh, I can't lie. This car looks so beautiful. The revamped front, the spoiler, the supercharger, and the default pink paint job just make it look so good. I honestly feel so cool when using it. Don't tell Crystal Jewel I said any of this though. I agree with you on that. This car totally rocks. It's pretty difficult to control, but it's a small price to pay for salvation, as they say. That crude remark that you were about to make on the Himalayo the other day before we cut you off. I feel the same way about this car, not gonna lie. I don't even care that it's hard to control. I'd put it S tier either way, just for the design alone. While we're all focusing on controlling our energies today, I'll refrain from going on a 48-hour tangent on this car and just say that it's my favorite thing of all time. 
Beauty, class, and style all combined into one. Truly a generational car. S tier it is then. And that's it for the third segment. After this, we have the last of the upgraded cars and the special cars to rank. Today's session was a rough one. I could really do with that meditation now, tree hugger. No problem at all, Marvo. Can't wait for it. It's yoga and then gymnastics with shimmy shake for me now. I'll see you guys later for the grand finale. I just need to lie down and rest my head for once. Make sure that I don't go crazy again. See you guys later. Don't even think about it, Sky. Oopsie daisy finger slipped. He <laughs> he. Anyway, see ya, Monza. Such a strange yet beautiful group of friends. I wonder what the last episode will have in store. Anyways, time for me to battle some more eight-year-old kids and take their money while they cry salty tears to their mommies. Ha 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 ha!